Hi everybody, this is Dave with another sneak peek at uh, Pod ATC version 2.0. Uh, today I'd like to cover uh, some of the flight planning capabilities and we'll just plan a short flight from uh, Los Angeles to San Francisco. Uh, to start, just open up the program, uh, not even connected to the simulator. Uh, click on Add a Waypoint in KLAX, which is our identifier for Los Angeles, and then KSFO for San Francisco, and that gives us the uh, beginnings of a flight plan. Uh, notice down here at the bottom, we can add SIDs, stars, and approaches, so uh, we'll be doing that today. But before we get there, I'm going to zoom in to this area so that we can bring up the high altitude above uh, flight level 180 jet routes and you can see in uh, fuchsia is the actual color uh, our current route which is direct from KLAX to KSFO and <clears throat> let's go ahead and, and uh, take a look here it looks like we've got a uh, good transition point here at this BOR so if we zoom in a little bit it's RZS so let's go look for a SID that will get us to RZS and let's assume we're taking off from flight from uh, runway 25 right and that will get us to RZS right there so let's go ahead and load that and you'll see the change in our route over here taking us to RZS now coming over here to the high altitude chart it looks like uh, jet 501 will get us to Big Sur one of the feeders into San Francisco so let's go ahead and uh, click on RZS and that brings up a menu of what we can do and one of the things is load an airway and so we'll load 501 to BSR and that should move the line over to Big Sur and then coming in with a uh, standard arrival and let's assume we're landing on runway 28 left in our transition point we want it to be BSR we can either click it in here in the drop down or come over here to the map click BSR and select which arrival we want we want to come into 28 left and go ahead and load that arrival and this looks kind of weird so let's see what it did it looks like it added an extra point we weren't expecting so we can come over here and delete that waypoint Uh, that looks a lot better and then let's go ahead and add the approach to 28 left and we'll take an ILS approach um, and let's see one of our points there is Menlo and we see Menlo right here so let's use that as our transition point give us a nice straight shot in and there we have it we have a full flight plan with um, SID stars and the approach we can add the cruising altitude and since it's such a short flight we'll go flight level 240 or 24,000 feet and notice that that then calculated a top of descent point for us uh, looks like it's about uh, seven miles before Carmi and it gave us a default airspeed of 250 but let's go ahead and uh, bump that up to 400 and you'll see that the uh, top of descent point moves back a little further to before um, Big Sur VOR so now we've got a flight plan ready to we can save it we can export it uh, and then bring it into our FMS and we're ready to fly. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll 
keep bringing them to you as we get more functionality ready to go.